Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of the world. This is a fantastic, unprecedented uh, online conference. I am a ad hoc moderator of this session chair because I bring uh, my home country, one of the very famous touristic site, Jeju DMO, into uh, Enter 21 conference as a sponsor host. Sponsor. Uh, today I'm going to introduce uh, about Korea. We have two Koreas. One is South Korea, another is North Korea. Definitely we are South Koreas. And uh, one of the very uh, famous islands is Jeju. And Jeju Island are going to introduce their effort for smart tourism and data analytics. They are doing very well for data analytics and they try to apply data analytics information into their actual tourism marketing program. So this is a very good example for not only for Korea, but also to all of the world. Because I, as far as I know, they are doing actual database implementation and anal analyze their data and collected data and meaningful data they achieved. And actually they operationalize the data-based marketing approach to their DMO strategies. So today, um, this video script as will show you how they doing their smart tourism operation into their tourism context. Um, can you show the video clip to audience? Hello, I am Son Young Go, Director of Research Center for Jeju Tourism Organization, JTO. The topic I want to address today is the future of Jeju Smart Tourism. With the spread of smart devices, the term smart has been taken for granted since some time ago and has become very common in our lives. Even in the field of tourism, Smart tourism is a very prevalent term. However, no one knows how we can implement smart tourism in reality and how much it will develop in the future. This is because there are so many factors that we cannot predict yet, such as the taste of tourists, change brought by the external environment, and technological advances. Today, I would like to explain that we have achieved from tourism in Jeju and conclude this presentation with suggestion of the direction for the future of smart tourism in Jeju based on our experience so far. Smart tourism is a new industry that creates high added value by applying ICT technology in the existing tourism concept. There are three ICT elements essential to creating a smart tourism destination, cloud, cloud computing, Internet of Things, and end-user Internet service systems. Because to introduce smartness to tourist destination, 
stakeholders should interconnect dynamically via technological platform, which will in turn allow immediate exchange of information related to tourism activities. What should we as a tourism organization do for the future of smart tourism in Jeju? Jeju Tourism Organization has gone through the following process to realize smart tourism in Jeju. This graph shows the trend of tourists visiting Jeju since 2000. Jeju surfaced 5 million tourists for the first time in 2005, which has been difficult break for decades and eight years later, in 2013, it surpassed 10 million. Then, in just three years, it reached 50 million. Jeju tourism has grown significantly since 2000, but it has shown that it has a high vulnerability to external factors, such as MERS in 2015, SAD de deployment in 2017, and now COVID-19. Moreover, tourism trends change too quickly. With everyday travel, tourists are always looking for new content. Jeju, a tourist city, could not control external factors. Still, it was necessary to diagnose and prescribe policies accurately against those factors and understand the tourist trend before any else and share such information with the private industry. It was tourism big data that satisfied those needs for Jeju to some extent. In the past, the survey on the tourists visiting Jeju provided data for understanding the tourism phenomena. It since 2014, 12,000 tourists were surveyed to find out their preferred contents, satisfaction, length of stay, expenditure, revision rate, and so on. This survey was the only means for us to obtain data for policy making and monitoring tourist trends. Questionnaires are handy, as it is easy to obtain detailed data, but since it is presented just once a year, it is difficult to provide regular responses and above all, there is a big limitation in quantifying the tourism situations. To complement these limitations, Jeju Tourism Organization has analyzed credit card data since 2012 to identify the very detailed consumption pattern of tourists and their impact on industries. For instance, the graph at the top shows, that shows the difference in tourist consumption patterns between Korean and foreigners. In terms of scale, Korean tourists account for nearly 90%, so the, it is obvious that Korean tourists spent more. This is all we could get from the existing information. Moreover, it was an estimate. In terms of content, we could see that Koreans made various consumptions in various sectors, such as retail, lodging, and restaurants. In contrast, over 80% of foreigner consumption occurs in the retail industry, mostly in the duty-free shop. Next is the consumption structure by reason. The area colored in dark red is where tourist spending is high. On the 2013 map, there are just three areas in dark red. However, in 19, uh, 2019, you can see the dark red spread throughout the province to towns and villages. In 
2012, only five reasons generated more than 50 billion Korean won in tourist sales, but the number increased to 13 reasons in 2019. Currently, due to COVID-19, Korean domestic tourists are constantly visiting Jeju. This analysis supports that we should not overlook the fact Korean tourists form a very valuable customer base that consumes all types of Jeju tourism across all regions. Conversely, for foreigner tourists whose consumption patterns are focused on specific industry and regions, we must continue to discover new content, make effort in active marketing and securing mobility and monitor continuously. With the outbreak of COVID-19 in 2020, a pandemic was declared under which tourism was hit hardest among many sectors. From the beginning of outbreak, Jeju has analyzed credit card big data every week to analyze the impact in which industry and use it as a basis for policy support. The analysis results has been shared continuously with the industry. Overall, one of the biggest features emerging in tourism following the outbreak of pandemic seems to be a rapid transition to individual tourism. The tourism phenomenon presupposes people's movement so individual tourism that minimizes person-to-person -person contact is in line with contact-free tourism. Due to this, among the lodging industry, the pension condominium business that provides individualized spaces, the luxury hotel that is expected to provide relatively safe services, and the rental car business that supports individual transfers have shown early recovery, while travel agencies and chartered buses for group travelers are still strolling. This video is an analysis of movement patterns of tourists. The revisit rate of tourists to Jeju has already reached 70%. Now, tourists visiting Jeju are no longer looking for traditional tourist destinations. We started to think from here. So, where are the tourists going? We got answers to this question by analyzing navigation data from TMAP. <coughs> Please watch and listen to the video. As you can see in the video, most tourists arrive on the island through Jeju Airport. Each individual travels mainly by rental car to find and reach the contents of their choice. At this point, they will use the navigation app. From the analysis of navigation data, we were able to draw eight hot places. As you can see, all of the eight places are somewhere near a beach or a coastal area. We looked closer and revealed interesting facts. Here are a rotating circle and an arrow for each hot place. The rotating circle represents the probability of movement within the area, and the arrow presents the probability of movement from outside the area. For example, in the cluster 1, which is Jeju Airport, 84 percent are moving around within the area and 16 are 16 percent are coming into cluster from outside also it shows that 4 percent of the 16 percent inflow is coming from cluster 2. as you can see most of the clusters have a very high probabilities of movement within the region and inflow inflows from outside, the reason are not that big. <clears throat> this implies a significant meaning. 
tourists no longer go around multiple destinations but, but rather choose a specific destination and head there straight away from Jeju airport. This analysis shows that tourists nowadays tend to, tend to stay at one specific destination where they can rest and enjoy themselves. <clears throat> This study had significant results in Jeju tourism, and at the same time, it has been applied in setting the eight COVID-19 quarantine clusters and is actively used in the policy to enhance the selection and concentration and efficiency of quarantine. Up to now, can be seen as the analysis of big data for understanding tourism phenomena. We learned that the use of analysis-oriented big data has physical and temporal limitations in sharing information due to such reasons, the time needed for analysis and accessibility to analysis results. Jeju launched the big data-based tourism service platform last year. It is a cloud-based service that aims to provide real-time data collection, accumulation, analysis, sharing, and services through the platform beyond the existing method of using big data in the form of analysis reports. We are aiming to complete our platform in the first half of 2021 with four main services to services. To start with, we launched the real-time tourist congestion analysis service last year. This service is provided on our tourism informa information portal named Visit Jeju. I will give a brief demonstration of the service now. This is our Visit Jeju site. You just can find all contents and information about Jeju on one screen. And in the future, we are planning to provide a one-stop service here on this Jeju, so users can access Jeju Tourism membership, Jeju Tourism platform, and all other useful information. If you click on the real-time tourist congestion analysis system at the bottom, a new screen will pop up. This service is updated every five minutes by processing mobile communication data in real time. The left, uh, the left screen shows that the current location of crowds. The right screen shows area where the where crowd size has crowd uh, increased in three hours in heat map format. You can also see a specific area. You can also check data of specific areas such as the number of tourists and local residents, changes in the floating population in the past 24 hours, and gender and age distribution. This single service alone can deliver a variety of functions. First of all, Tourists themselves can obtain information to avoid crowded areas and find relatively safe areas in this COVID-19 era. Second, local government can prioritize the places to conduct quarantine based on the level of crowd needs. Third, in collaboration with the police, it can serve the role of a safe Jeju tourism platform by providing scientific information for listing crime-prone areas and setting petrol routes. Last, this service can provide information for business to be used in planning business strategies by allowing them to identify the characteristics of tourists in the neighborhood. They can check the number of tourists by time period, gender, and age at a glance. 
Besides, our platform complies a database that collects, efficiently manages, and shares various statistics and big data from public corporations, related organizations, and private sectors. Also, it provides monthly tourist statistics reports by province, cities, and smaller administrative units. Moreover, we plan to share various analysis data for industry and in related organization in newsletter format. The analysis data will include Jeju tourism trend analysis, which is text analysis, big data analysis, and policy project effect analysis. Last is the ma major project of 2021, a data-based tourist destination recommendation service. We completed developing a recommendation algorithm last year that analyzes navigation and credit card data. In the first half of this year, this algorithm will be visualized and developed further to provide data-based tourist destination and restaurant rec recommendations to tourists based on the preferences of their gender and age group. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, the tourism sector's need for safety is expected to take precedence over any value. Therefore, it is expected that the desire for smart tourism using mobile and ICT technology for safety will advance the most. To start with, Jeju will continue to embrace big data and ICT technologies and advanced tourism services using such technologies. To achieve this, first, collaboration between the private and public is paramount. We should actively collect and share various data from both the public and private sectors. Second, we need to strengthen tourism-based analysis capabilities through collaboration with the universities and startups in the province. We need to cultivate provincial talents with analytical capability and ability to applying them to tourism. Third, this is also important to expand the, expand the infrastructure for data construction. Personalized services, the core function of smart tourism, are based on personalized data. This essentially requires data collection infrastructure. Jeju Tourism Organization is integrating the Visit Jeju site as the single channel for all information communication. In the future, the Jeju Tourism membership function will be embedded here, and through this, we intend to collect and analyze personalized data and provide personalized services. The infrastructure data the infrastructure for data collection cannot be built by our organization alone. Since the future strategy bureau of the Jeju Provincial Office is in charge of collecting public data, JTO will continue to collaborate with them. In conclusion, the key to Jeju Smart Tourism can be summarized as the establishment of cooperative governance. Jeju Smart Tourism will continue to solidify this position through full collaboration for related infrastructure, technology, and human resources inside and outside the province. Thank you.
Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Go Sun Young. She is tremendously well presenting their DMO project. Um, from the audience, uh, are there any questions for Jeju DMO about this project? I can deliver your question to them directly, and then I'm receiving answer from them to uh, deliver you again. Okay. Um, we have not much questions from the floor, so I want to show the Jeju Island how they beautiful it is from the uh, sponsor site. Can you show me the sponsor site? The, the the sponsor site I uploaded the above. Okay, here you go. Can you see this? Okay. Let's wrap up uh, this, this session. Before we are finishing this uh, uh, session, I want to address these important things. Actually, this is a conference of the academic. Uh, academic, we can conceptualize the smart tourism. But the application and the project actually proceed by a uh, certain specific DMO or business field. So this kind of a case study from the project result will be very valuable uh, concept and actual information to our uh, uh, academia. So through this uh, project, we will be able to understand clearly what the smart tourism can be done and uh, what smart tourism, the role of smart tourism application and technology, how we can be able to transform the tourism itself. Actually, smart tourism is not only for technology method, but the smart tourism is enabled the traveler to uh, perceive the contents further and application automation will uh, make uh, travelers smartly choose their destination and their preference. So continually we are pursuing smart tourism um, project and more uh, intelligently and more automatically. I am looking forward to uh, Zezu DMO will achieve further high level smart tourism sooner or later. We look forward to see again the, their project next year in Enter Conference 22. Thank you very much uh, for, uh, thank you very much all of the uh, audience in attending our session. Okay, goodbye, good night, good morning, good afternoon. This is Chamo Gu from Gyeonggi University, South Korea. Thank you.